Hey everyone, uh, CRM, we're going to go into opportunities, but before I get started, I wanted to do a shout out to an active university. Uh, we're going to have a uh, online training on the 23rd of March for finance. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about finance, you want sort of the online classroom uh, experience, uh, please check out the website below. Uh, for an active university. Uh, but now we're going to get into opportunities. So we went with campaigns, we did a segment, uh, and we got contacts into the segment. And so we did create opportunities out of that segment. And then I stopped. So this video, I'm actually going to go into those opportunities and uh, create tasks for them. So let's look at the structure. We have a campaign, uh, and that is connected to a segment. And inside the segments, inside the segment, we have contacts. And from the contacts, we created opportunities. Jeez. Okay, so so we have a bunch of opportunities here. Uh, now, these opportunities are linked to the salesperson. Actually, uh, the campaign is linked to the salesperson as well. So uh, we had the salesperson connected to the campaign. And so when we create the opportunities, the salesperson is going to be labeled on all the opportunities. So what we should be able to do is go into the salesperson and take a look at all the new opportunities that were created from the contacts or onto the contacts. Opportunities are obviously connected to the contact as well and to the campaign. So it's all connected. Now, when we have an opportunity like here, the opportunity has, and again, we have a structure, sales cycles. So you have a sales cycle one, two, three, or you can call them something like initial and qualification or something like that. So it can be multi there are multiple sales cycles for an opportunity. And an opportunity m is in one sales cycle, but it can move to another one. So you start with one, and then you go into second, and into third. And the final sales cycle, which could be the fifth one, is usually you know won or lost. Or you can call it contract signed or something like that. So I, an opportunity moves through sales cycle, right? And the sales cycle, this is crazy, I know. It's very complicated for a CRM system, but it makes perfect sense. So it's worth understanding. The sales cycle is connected to something called activity. Activity here. And activity has, or activities, has tasks. <laughs> right, so task one, two, three. All right. So how does this work? Uh, you have, we, we had a campaign, we pulled in contacts into a segment, so multiple contacts in a segment. We went into a segment, we created opportunities. This is all connected to the salesperson. An opportunity has sales cycles. If we move an opportunity into a sales cycle, let's say one, then um, the activities that are connected to sales cycle one which are here, or the activity, one activity that's connected to the sales cycle one, is activated. And when it's activated, the tasks that are connected to that activity get assigned to, guess, anyone? To the salesperson, right? So here, this is how we can get tasks assigned to a salesperson. Um, bit crazy. Uh, obviously, you don't need the campaign and the segment and contacts to create the opportunity. An opportunity can be created by itself. I just like to go through this to make it messy. Uh, but if you create the opportunity by itself, you activate a sales cycle, sales cycle has an activity code, the tasks will be generated and then assigned to the salesperson. So let's take a look at that in the system. Okay, so let's continue with uh, what we were doing before. Uh, just to recap, if I go into the sales P 
people again, where we sort of start always into Peter Zato. I can then go into uh, the uh, campaigns and we have this 25% off everything. So in this campaign, um, we actually, let's just go and edit it, uh, created a segment. And from the segment, we created opportunities. So if I go into the segment right here, uh, create opportunities. And basically what that does, that it, it creates an opportunity for all the contacts in the segment. So they are now, they now have uh, opportunities and it's attached to the contact, it's attached to the salesperson and attached to the campaign. So those are the connections basically. Uh, so if I created all these opportunities for all these contacts, I should be able to get into them from the salesperson card as a salesperson. And that's the whole idea. So as a salesperson, I come in here and I get into my opportunities. And now I see I have a whole lot of opportunities, new ones, all from this campaign. So basically, whoever created the campaigns issued all these opportunities to me that I can start working on. And if I go into one of these opportunities, so let me just go ahead and pick uh, this one. It would be nice to see the actual contact. But anyways, um, another one from Microsoft. <laughs> Click here, edit. I can see that this is for uh, Relic Cloud. And I want to start this opportunity, so just get it going. And right now, I don't have any sales cycle active, but it's it's a opportunity, so it should have sales cycles. And it's been assigned the sales cycle code new. If I go in here, there are two options. There's new and existing. So this is new customer. Uh, and if I go into new and take a look at this, um, uh, these stages right here. So the new sales cycle code basically is defined with these stages. So we have an initial one, then we qualify it, we do a presentation, then there's a proposal, and then finally it's a signed contract if we manage to get to the last stage. And there is a chance of success and completed percentages, etc. Now, what's interesting here is we have something called the activity code attached to this. And if I click on that uh, and take a look at the activity code here, uh, the activity code actually gives you an opportunity to have tasks. So I know this gets a little bit complicated, and I think that's the reason why CRM and Business Central is not used a whole lot because it is complicated in a sense. However, once you get it, it's very flexible. Um, so here we have these activities uh, and the activity is a group of tasks. And there are two tasks here, verify quality of opportunity and identify key people. So these tasks are always in the initial activity which is attached to the initial stage of the sales cycle. I hope I made that clear. So if I activate the first sales cycle stage, the activities should be automatically created for the salesperson. So let's try that. Now go in here, close this out, go into, and now right now I'm in the opportunity and I wanna go ahead and activate, where is it? Opportunity, somewhere, um, there we go. So we're gonna activate the first stage. Okay, so I click on that. Yes, we are in the initial stage. That means this is starting, now it's in progress. Status is in progress. And what happened with this? If I cl close this out and I go into my tasks, so I navigate, actually here, here, and here, I can see that two new tasks were added. Actually, I did this before, I demoed it just to make sure it works. 
So I have four. I have two of the verify quality and two of identify key people. So this is a way to start assigning tasks to salespeople. And it's not only with, uh, with the task or simple task, but it is connected to the opportunity to the campaign. So it's, it's, it's all funneling up. I hope that makes sense.